Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Raymond Bishop's self-confidence seems to just come through with each step he takes down to the ring. George Foreman's ring walks have been known as circus spectaculars, but yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. His adversary, with a record of 76 draws, with 68 knockouts and five losses, by way of Marshall, Big George Foreman. All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Get in there. Let's in a matchup like this, I'm going to assume it's going to be tough to envision a scenario where the power puncher can win on points. Now I have a scenario for you, Joe. It's not that tough. Let the power puncher score one or two knockdowns. He's going to be ahead in a hurry. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old kind of you say when you come in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces like that. Showing you some defense there with the block. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Nice strike after catching one by Raymond Bishop. Raymond Bishop's work in training camp is now paying off. You see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. A good block. That right hand over the top lands flush. What impact from that uppercut by Raymond Bishop. George Foreman showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. One, two, one, two. That works out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Blocks that blow and then a counter uppercut. Snapping jab by Raymond Bishop. And that's the end of round one. Foreman's got nobody to blame but himself. I mean, he got hit much too much in that last round. Well, he was throwing his punches from too close. He's giving up his height. You're throwing from that close, and you're going to get counted over it if your opponent wants to do that. Guess what? His opponent wanted to. He had the desire to do that, and he took advantage. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Here we go. Round two is underway. Two snapping jabs by Raymond Bishop. There's that overhand right. And now he's turned solid, perfectly executed combination. Foreman's down. He's going to have to beat the count. Foreman is rising up after being knocked down. Big George went down. Now he's going to continue on. And now he has to find a way to kill that clock. Oh, George Foreman is hurt here. 
and he's going to look to waste some time and gather some strength by hugging his opponent. And that's what he's going to do is use that strength. And you just said it, Joe. Use it to hug him. Hug him so tight that the referee has to come in there with a crowbar to separate them. He's jumping all over him now. George Foreman's nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. Oh, what an exchange. Digs in with the jab, cutting down the tree there. Good defense, just covering up down low. George Foreman's defense has failed him now. Oh, man, shot after shot coming in. George Foreman, of course, took part in one of the most famous fights of all time, the Rumble in the Jungle. What could he have done differently to have changed that outcome? Nothing. Ali got into his head, that Ali made him believe that he could not beat him, that Ali made him believe that he had to submit, because for years after that, days and hours and years, he had to deal with the knowledge that he gave in to a guy who was more together mentally than he was. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. George Foreman's in a tough spot here. 60 seconds, that's all you get to get. And yet another big shot comes in. How about that power shot? And how about the reverb that's going about a county away with Big George hitting the canvas? Foreman's going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beats the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the rope, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. Targeted two-punch combo by Raymond Bishop. Raymond Bishop's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, that was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. Raymond Bishop. George Foreman's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Oh, he's hurt. He was hurt right there, but now he's grabbing on like it's a life preserver. And he's going to have to stay there if he's going to get through these rapids. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Big shot there. Foreman's down. He may soon be out. This fight could be over. to beat the count. It'll go down as a knockout, Teddy. Perfectly timed punch. For the official particulars, let's get up to the ring. He's probably gonna mark that down as one of the highlights of his career. From out of